simple blood test is enough. Enough to tell you your risk of having colorectal cancer right now. Because what you don't know about this disease can hurt you. It can even kill you. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in both men and women. Each year, roughly 22,000 Canadians will be diagnosed with this deadly disease. Nearly 9,000 will die. But it doesn't have to be that way. Most of those deaths could have been prevented. Colorectal cancer is one of the only cancers that you can prevent from actually happening in the first place. In other words, with good screening, we can cut out the polyp through a simple colonoscopy and avoid the chances completely of having cancer. When detected early enough, cure rates for colorectal cancer are as high as 90%. Tragically, survival rates drop as low as 10% when cancer is discovered in its later stages. Sadly, many symptoms of colorectal cancer do not present themselves until the disease has progressed significantly, when the odds of long-term survival are diminished. Luckily, screening can detect the disease before the symptoms are present to catch the cancer early so that it can be effectively treated. So why are so many people still dying? Because only 15 to 20 percent of Canadians are being properly screened. Screening is essential to early detection. It is critical to saving lives. Unlike more, many of the other common cancers, we know that screening does work very well. We know that screening doesn't at the moment work for lung cancer, for example, which is more common. We know that in men, screening for prostate cancer isn't really effective. But for colorectal cancer, screening works. And by a variety of methods available and by new methods currently being developed. Mention the word colonoscopy and many people break into a cold sweat. While it can very effectively diagnose the disease, people often are intimidated by the procedure and refuse to drop their pants. The same goes for stool sample tests. Many people are reluctant to collect multiple stool samples at home. Simply put, uh, people don't want to talk about their bowels in public. Now, there's a test that can change people's perceptions and save lives. It's a new screening option, so there are no more excuses for avoiding routine colorectal cancer screening. A convenient, patient-friendly blood test is all it takes. Colon Sentry can help identify patients who have an increased risk of colorectal cancer. Using the latest advances in molecular technology, it measures the current expression of seven genes that serve as biomarkers to detect the presence of cancer. Individuals assessed as having an increased risk should strongly consider proceeding to colonoscopy to further determine their disease status. A blood-based test could be a important launching point for further screening or further interventions. The same way that we use um, fecal or immunochemical occult blood testing now to decide whether an individual should have a in invasive test such as colonoscopy, I think that a blood-based test has that potential and could enable us to decide who really needs to be evaluated promptly. Because caught early enough, colorectal cancer can be cured. And because ignoring this deadly disease won't make it go away. Unlike a genetic test, which provides information about your lifetime risk of getting colorectal cancer, Colon Sentry assesses your current risk, or in other words, your risk of actually having colorectal cancer. Like any screening test, a decreased risk result does not completely rule out the presence of the disease. Regular colon sentry tests can track changes in your body that could facilitate earlier detection of this potentially life-threatening condition. So who are the candidates for the colon sentry test? Possibly you. Everyone age 50 or older should be screened regularly for colorectal cancer. If you are age 50 or older and do not have any high-risk factors, including a family history of colorectal cancer, polyps, or inflammatory bowel disease, you can consider colon sentry as a screening option. It is really to detect the vast majority of people who are diagnosed with colorectal cancer who show no symptoms whatsoever of it. 
And that is just the average man or woman who are walking down the street between the ages of 50 and 74. And this should be uh, examined just like any other um, uh, diagnostic test that one would do with a general checkup. Remember, even if you don't have any symptoms, getting regularly screened with a tool like Colon Sentry can be the most important thing you do to make sure you remain cancer-free. Make sure your odds are the best they can be.